Good morning! Welcome to West Monmouthshire. I've got an unboxing today. It is the latest rangefinder from Go 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 Sport. It is the V Pro. And it's been updated. And it's been improved. And they sent me one. So let's have a look at it. So it comes in the standard hard case. It's always nice to get a hard case, isn't it? It's a lithium ion battery. So it's rechargeable and you get the charging lead and you get the lens cloth. And it looks a little bit like this. It has three modes because this is a multi-sport device. You can use it for other activities. And to that end, they've put a quarter inch screw on the bottom so you can put it on a monopod or a tripod. Mode two is the golf mode. Now in mode two, what it does is pin lock. And when you fire at the pin, then it vibrates and it gives you the yardage. Talking of yardages, you can change it to meters. So you switch it on, and you hit the mode button for about two and a half seconds while you're looking through the lens and it will change from meters to yards or yards to meters, whatever you require. It's also got slope. So it will tell you how far it is. So it gives you the yardage to the flag or the hazard, whatever it is you're shooting and it gives you the adjusted yardage. It will also give you the slope, up or down, in degrees. The screen looks a little bit like this. And if all that isn't enough, it's got a nice big magnet on the side. Stick it on your golf cart. Me, I tend to stick it on the top of my three wood. Then it's really handy for me. The other thing I'd say about this is it's very tactile. I don't know what material this is, but it just feels nice. This is a premium device. And the best place to go and check it out is here on the golf course. So we'll put it through its paces. And while I'm doing that, there's a link below to their Amazon website. Prices obviously change all the time. But I think when you go and look, you'll be rather pleasantly surprised at how much this costs. Right, we're out on the course now, so time for its first test. This hole's roughly about a 150 yards. Flag looks middle-ish. Let's see what we get. One forty-seven, so a little short of the middle. I think down this wind, it's an eight iron, don't you? Well, I drove that one so far, I've run out of fairway. Let's give it another go. One twenty-nine, so. Nine iron. Well, you don't just use lasers for picking out the flag. I got a dog leg to the right here over a quarry. I want to know how much I can chew off the corner. So we can laser this tree up here and that'll give us some idea of how much I can cut off. It's only 176 to that tree, so I can cut off the corner, but I don't really want to go right of it. I think I'll be in bother there. But straight over, no problem. Back again on the 10th hole here. So par three of 211 yards and quite frankly I struggle with rangefinders at these kind of distances because I can't hold it steady enough so it normally takes me two or three goes 
and it doesn't matter whose rangefinder I'm using. But we'll give this a go, see if we can get the buzz. Two hundred and eight, and I was right, it took me three goes. I guess that's what are the screws for, is you can sit this on a monopod when you've got old shaky hands like me. This is going to be a tough one into the wind. One forty six, and all you can see is the flag, no flag stick at all down this hole. So I've used this all the way around, and I'm I'm really quite impressed. I say it does feel nice, whatever this material is, it feels good. Charging port is just on the back here, underneath a little piece of silicon keep the water out. What a good idea. Yeah, I like this. So, uh, pay the website a visit, pay Amazon a visit, and I think you might be surprised at how much a rangefinder can cost you, especially this kind of quality. Ta-ra!